Okay, here's the uh, call bell or call button or remote or anything like that if anybody else is interested. This here, it's a proprietary system. Uh, it's kind of worn away with people's hand salsa and that over the years. So it looks like Cure Bell or Clay Bell or I can't really make it out. Uh, it just, it's too worn away unfortunately. I see a May 11. Maybe it's from 2011. And just with the amount of wear on it, that could very well be. <laughs> this is a totally wired system. It sort of kind of has to be for stuff like that. This will do the uh, call bell and the lights in the room and the TV. And that's really all I played with it for. Uh, my remote comes with this black spec by the 7 and 8. I don't know what that's really about. If it's just like a dimple in it or what. But this is the only remote I ever had. So that's that. So basically the way this works, this is the light here for the room. The light is back up over here. It uh, looks like about a two foot fluorescent, maybe even three. I can't really tell. No, it's two. These should be one foot square tiles here. And that fits that. So that should be a two foot fluorescent. And when I hit the button on the remote, it takes a moment. I hope I'm hitting the right one. There we are and it goes out and then I hit it again and it comes back it's not a preheat on this one but there are other preheat bulbs in the hospital that I will be showing you in a video I recorded on my regular camera that I haven't uploaded because I don't have a computer with me um, so anyway that's that the the buttons are very like unresponsive like here's the light button it says there's light one and light two light two doesn't do anything the light one, if you just press it, now it worked. There's also a little orange LED. Now it seems to be behaving, but sometimes these buttons just... Now it's behaving. Before I pressed it, it didn't do anything, so maybe it takes a little while to wake up. That's a TV on or off. I have it on now, but I'll shut it so that way you could actually watch this boot up. Now the TV is off. There's the TV off in the distance. Um, I hope you can make out there's a red light on it in the lower right corner of it. When I press the button on the remote, it fades in and out a couple times. The screen lights up, it turns blue, and you get channel 2, which is WCBS here in New York, and that's it. And that's what's currently playing right now. The TV is an LG piece of crap. I couldn't even tell you the size. Back to the remote. Your channel buttons up and down. So when you press those, it actually shows you on the screen what channel it goes to. And I can go through and keep changing the channel. There's also a closed caption button right here. I haven't tried that yet. This is channel 7 WABC. It should be captioned. And it looks like you can do it. So it says caption on, enter maybe. I don't really know how it works exactly. Oh yeah, it is captioning. I don't know if you can tell. The sound, oddly enough, does not come from the TV. It comes from the remote itself. Here is the volume control on the side. It's a real mechanical volume control. And as I turn it up... ...to his regular time slot next week. They're kicking us off the air. Now, we... So you see how that all works right there. And that's it. And you can plug in headphones on it also. Um, that really is it as far as the remote goes. Uh, I don't know what the period button does. I guess maybe we'll try that quick. Maybe that has to do with typing numbers in. 
you know, like 8.1 or something, but you can't do that. There's only about 60 some odd channels, and then that's really it. And another interesting thing when you turn the TV off, press the button, it goes to channel 2 first, the blue light stays, and then goes red. I'm going to turn it back on again anyway because I just like it on for something to see. Now it didn't want to obey my command, so I'll press the button again. Again, it didn't obey. I'll press it again. Now it's obeying. I don't know if it's a matter of China Metronics or what. Anyway, that is the call bell thing. Obviously, I'm not going to summon the nurse for nothing, but when you press that, the light over here grows, glows brighter. And that thing on the wall below the clock has a light on it that comes on. And I think the screen on it gets a little brighter. You can also... Oh, that wasn't good out in the hall, but I don't know what that is because I can't get up right now. That thing glows brighter and there's a light on it also. And that's it. And uh, that is the uh, hospital bedside remote call button thing. So that's that. The reason I can't get up is because of this thing which vibrates every now and again. That's a pack that hooks on the end of the bed that has these inflatable things on my legs and it just inflates around them and squeezes my legs to prevent uh, blood clots on that. So I have to stay with that for the night. But uh, that's it. I mean, I you know, I told the nurse she ought to give me a whole bunch of Viagra which would keep the sheets off my legs, but whatever. Hey, I gotta jazz these videos up somehow. I'm in the hospital, right? Anyway, like I said, going home tomorrow, doing a lot better. And uh, that'll do it. So thanks again for watching. You know the drill. And we'll be back in action before you know it. Thanks again. Take care.